Hey, Nash, what should we make? Why don't you make some marry me chicken? Marry me chicken, huh? Well, yeah, then maybe you'll be able to find a wife or at least a girlfriend. <clears throat> well, I know this is a cooking show, but I didn't realize I was going to be the one getting roasted. But all right, let's make some marry me chicken. Welcome back to Chaos Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making some marry me chicken. Marry me chicken? Bit of a stretch. Fuck me chicken. Now that's what it should have been called. Shout out to Sam the cooking guy. Uh, you know, it was already all over the internet and everybody was making it and saying how great it was and I still hadn't tried it. It wasn't until I saw his episode of Marry Me Chicken that it inspired me to make it. So my recipe is gonna be based loosely on his, but uh, we're gonna make it our own. And you know, I couldn't even tell you the difference between marry me chicken and Tuscan chicken. I guess marry me chicken sounds sexier but um maybe it's mushrooms i'm not entirely sure anyways it's chicken with a creamy cheesy sauce some sun-dried tomatoes all delicious so today we're going to put our own spin on marry me chicken let's go so obviously marry me chicken is going to start with chicken so here i have about a pound and a half of chicken thighs i think the original recipe calls for breasts but i think thighs taste better more fat fat equals flavor hey if you want to use thighs use thighs you do you so we're gonna hit them with a little salt, pepper, garlic. Now we're gonna give our seasoned chicken a little bit of a dredge and some flour, just some all-purpose flour. Now normally we'd cook the chicken, but we're gonna add a little flavor. So I have about half pound of some uh, chopped up bacon. Pro tip on bacon, put your bacon in a cold pan and then start the heat and that's going to help render the fat better. So here we go. A little straggler. And we're going to do medium high heat. While our bacon's cooking away, we're going to chop an onion. When your bacon's done, leave the heat on, get your bacon out, but we're leaving that grease in. That way, everything we cook from here on out is gonna get that extra added flavor from the bacon. And set that aside. Now we add about a tablespoon of butter and a little bit of olive oil. Now we add in our chicken. Well, we're just trying to brown the chicken right now. We're not trying to cook it all the way through. So maybe a few minutes on each side. That's all we're looking for. We're just looking for some sear that's gonna add flavor to the chicken. It's also going to help later on where the chicken is almost done and all we need to do is just finish cooking it through. Now we turn the heat to low, add in our onions. And we're gonna add some mushrooms. I don't think the original recipe calls for mushrooms, but I like mushrooms, so I'm adding them. Also, I'm making a second batch for Nash and little dude can't eat onions, so we're gonna give him mushrooms instead. Now we make a little divot. Add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Wait till that's fragrant, about 45 seconds, and then stir it all together. Now that everything is coming together, put in about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Okay, maybe that was a little extra. About a tablespoon of Dijon. And stir that in. We want to let that cook for about two minutes. At this point, I really wish you guys could smell this. As the tomato paste starts to kind of cook through and roast a little bit, it's just an amazing, amazing smell. Now we add about a cup of chicken broth. 
The same with heavy cream. About a teaspoon of oregano. About a teaspoon of thyme. About a teaspoon or more or less, depending on your taste, of red pepper flakes. About a third of a cup of uh, grated Parmesan. And lastly, uh, about three ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. These are in oil. So I might as well just add a little bit of that. And we stir it all together and let it simmer until it starts to thicken and all of the flavors get this one, Mary. So terrible. And at this point, we add back in our bacon. Stir that in. Now we let that simmer, stirring occasionally until it's thickened. Probably about five to 10 minutes. Once it starts to thicken, I just threw in some fresh, fresh chopped basil. Stirred that in, pulled back uh, some of your basil for garnish. And now we are ready to go bring our chicken back, put the chicken back in the pool. I'm just gonna take, take a spoon, spoon some of this sauce on top of your little guys. Now, since the chicken is almost all the way cooked through, we're just gonna let this simmer with the chicken in there until it's all uh, cooked all the way through, and then we're ready to serve. Now you let this simmer for a little bit until your chicken's cooked through about three to five minutes, I would say. Now you're ready to kill the heat and pull everything out, and then we're ready to plate. And now we're ready to plate. So we got this little guy. Spoon a little bit more sauce on top. Garnish with a little bit of our fresh chopped basil. Now it's time for a bite. I'm gonna just try and go right here. Get a little bit of everything here. I want that. No, I want the bacon and the sun-dried tomato. And the basil, I want it all. Cheers. I mean, it's a perfectly cooked chicken thigh with that creamy, cheesy, Parmesan-y, tomato, sun-dried tomato-y sauce with the bacon. It's a big explosion of flavors inside your mouth. It's delicious. If you haven't tried this, try it. If you haven't made it, make it and try it. Now let's see what Nash thinks. Hey, Nash, what do you think? We got some Mary Me Chicken, sit. Good boy. Here you go. Go for it. So Nash approves. He says 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. I definitely approve. This is a great dish. It's so easy to cook. Um, you just have to make sure you have the ingredients, but it's one pan and uh, you can do it all in a little, uh, probably under a half an hour, I would say. I didn't time it though, so don't quote me on that. Thank you so much for watching. If you, if you wouldn't mind, if you could like, subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you're notified every time I put out a new video. I'd really appreciate it. For those of you who already have, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Help us grow, share the show. If you like it, tell other people about it. That being said, remember, cook more, eat better, embrace the chaos. That's it for now, folks. Peace.